Hello everyone, my name is Russ Lux and welcome to Three Random Games. Now, this first one that we got looks a little a little naughty if you know what I mean. So be prepared. I have warned you guys already that this might be for well, let's just say for mature audiences. This one is called Piglet Miss and Miss Big Bad Werewolf. I have no idea what this game is about. So we will find out together. I like the music. Start adventure. Why does that look like a? <laughs> That's a big dick. Once upon a time, Piglet was browsing through restaurants on his smartphone. Suddenly, a personalized message popped up. Dear username, you are one thousandth visitor, one millionth visitor. Click here to claim your free meal. How lucky am I? Thought Piglet and clicked the button without hesitation. Full of hope and hunger, Piglet immediately started his uh, pork swagon and drove off to the restaurant. After an eventful three hour drive, you arrive in a dark, watering village. All you can hear in the dark are uh, four bowling sounds of wild animals. Unscored by the dark and forbidding gambling of your empty stomach. Are you really sure you want to go in there, Piglet? Why not? The restaurant I want to visit here is in the forest. I've won a free meal. I'm going to eat a free meal. This four doesn't seem too bad, does it? <laughs> I want a free meal. What are you talking about? Of course I want free food. I see. You take any risk for free food, wouldn't you, Piglet? Um, their website said they would serve the most delicious food in the country. Eating free in a, in a crazy restaurant is not risky. Uh, free food. Doesn't the name of the restaurant make you at least a tiny bit suspicious? What's suspicious about Mrs. Uh, Big Bad Werewolf? <sighs> Let's hope you're lucky enough to survive this. I was at the millionth visitor on their website. What are you guys talking about? And if that's not lucky, I don't know what is. All right, Piglet, it's your life after all. Ooh. Oh. oh, hiya. Oh, hiya. Welcome. Welcome, dear. Why does this sound like Undertale? Is this way to the restaurant? I want a free meal. You're exactly right, mister. The Miss Big Bad Wolf Werewolf is right over there. Please follow the path and ignore everything else, like the dark forbidding fours or the skeletons. Oh, don't worry. The skeletons are in no associated with the restaurant. They were here before. Uh, we built the restaurant. The path is 100% safe and guaranteed. Thank you for your trust in us. That Miss Big Bad Werewolf terms the highest personality priorities to ensure the safety of our uh, guests. Enjoy your eating experience. 100%. Thumbs up. That skeleton's go. Looks like you guys are just, you know, they're just chillaxing, you know. Nothing too big. Whoa. Extend your pleasure. <laughs> okay. What's that noise? What, what? Oh, what does that button do? Yes, I'm 18. Of course I'm 18. Uh, what, is, what is this? What have I gotten myself into? Let's, 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 let's generously go back. 
After several... I missed everything that happened. Swallow, whoa. You set down the wet, struggling to make flesh and slime. I want to become covered in female juices. Is it that what you said, lady? Lately? Oh. Okay. First of all, um, that's actually a quite nice place here. Uh, Skinly, look. A guest. A guest! Ah, Molly, you're right. Who is this guest? Pink runish pig? Well, I forgot to read that, sorry. I just want to get on with the game. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. I want to get on with the game. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, yes, I'm a very powerful wizard. Oh, wizard, scully, powerful wizard. Really, very sexy. Oh, really tasty. Scully, sexy time for Ben <laughs> during work. Oh, and Lily Juicy, because she's like a uh, warrior, small walk. Scully turned on by a tasty wizard. Whoa. Okay. Maybe a powerful wizard pig can help us with a restaurant problem. Wink, wink. They are hard to see, but you actually first guess in a werewolf restaurant. I would never have guessed that. What a shocking revolution. revelation. This can't be true. Who would have seen through your perfect... All it's going to be is just talking. Oops. God damn it. Gotta quit spamming E. Alright. Can we get on with the game? Whatever it might be. Can I just sit down? Nope. Score 3 of 59. Figure it. For the culinary adventures, I better take a look before room before I walk into the restaurant. So I'll talk to the bartender. Hey, handsome. The bar's not open yet. Come back again later. Sure thing. Okay, well. What's in here? Dining cart. It's possibly just for show. Ah, I'm hungry. Let's do this soup. But what 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 else am I supposed to look at? That's so cute. That's so cute. Am I supposed to sign this? Hey, this book is definitely empty. Now nah, I'll write it in something later. Alright. Can I go in the kitchen? Yep, we're going in the kitchen. Well, hello. Morimoto. Greetings, stranger. Go sleep there. Come to join me by the fire. Okay. Oops, I forgot to, take norm to talk normally. Sigh. Being a cook instead of a witch sure has its downsides. So, hey, I'm Mori. Mori, welcome to the kitchen. Hey, Mori. I'm Piglet. I'm here to help with the food situation. Rats and kettles. Would you help me? I mean, would you really help me out? Sure. Tell me how. I want to make some Bado Union for our guest. I am missing all the ingredients. Of course. Horse and bleed. Want and bleed. What ingredients do you need? <laughs> hey, not bad. All the ingredients you need are carved into that recipe redstone right over there. Oh, and one of the ingredients is pork flavor broth. Use with this flash to store it. I just got kinky. This cute flask can keep it for a pork flavor broth warm. Meat! One more thing. There might be fighting involved with you in your quest. <sighs> raise a fist, flex, lift up your... I'll raise up my left eyebrow. Impressive. 
So, I'd like to, to take this and have a little cooking talk with you. Something to fight with and something to defend myself. Block their hits, break their bones. These are our skills I want to know. Recipe. Fat shanks, back to your noodles. Okay. Let's go get the ingredients. The fridge. In the fridge. Okay, nothing is in the fridge. Terminator and Betty. Your helpful guy, please help me. The exterminator? Those monstrous Batgirls you have riled up. Let's you to scare them away. Please, wait a moment. What's happening here? Don't worry, fill you in. The bats have gone crazy. Why are there bats in the first place? This here, one of our signature adventure cuisine rooms. Guests can put their own food here. Oh no, the bats are pretty chill with it. Really? You see, our bats are actually pretty sturdy. They don't mind taking a beating at all. They have given our guests some fun for their money and then drop every prepared bash ink as loot. Oh, so it's not the real deal. Well, of course, it would be too dangerous for our guests to fight against the battle of our real, right? That's for real, right? Um, don't worry. I need to get it now. This is something else. Okay. Excuse me. Oh, no. That's an angry bat. Your first battle is about to begin. Let's fight. Bessie! Oh. Hits. Okay. Shablam! Damn, okay. That's... Four! You did it! Hey! Found bat meat. Can't wait to beat up another bat. Let's get him. Oops. Four. Oh yeah, did it again. I did it again. Get some of that flesh. Get it that bat tears, cause they're dead to whiny babies. Oh, what are you? You you're gonna you're gonna you know stand in my way? You see what I did to those bats there? Get ready! Oh, I'm so ready! I'm so whoa. What? What the hell is this? What the hell? What? <laughs> oh, yep, yep. Uh huh. Adult content is advised. I gotta get that. Whoop. I gotta get that lovely juice for my lovely cuisine. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ah, mmm. How? Your seduction was a lot better than my situ seduction. <laughs> I guess practice really does make it perfect. My my fellow monster Batgirls will avenge me. Ah, oh, no, no, not the Batgirls. Mm-hmm. Uh, yep, 
The game is locked tight. Use item. Um, oh. Gotta get more meat. But oh. or no. more meat, more tears. Thank you, thank you. Th oh god, I, I Miss a beat. Not oh. Not gonna miss a beat. Thank you. I just need that key. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Use Adam. I don't know. Golden eye key. Brilliant! I know I'm brilliant. Let's pork it out. Let's hey, pork us out. Blushki. Blushke! <laughs> Hell yeah, we are. We are dominating this. Okay, I got an eyeball. What's up here? Nothing? Okay. Alright, let's go see what else we need. Oh, are you crying there, baddie bat, baddie bat? Psst. All right, let's see what. Let's see what else I need for my recipe. Powers cartoons. Under construction. Come back later. Okay. Okay. Okay, so bat shake seven, bat tier noodles. Even worse. So score nineteen out of fifteen. So let's see. Can I talk to you now? Hey, what would I like to drink? What do you have? Anthony Mizzou, special blah 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 blah. blah. Rust free broth tender. I'll have that, whatever it is. Gulp. Yada 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 yada. Okay, well. Just gonna go in here. Fitting short. Fittings, blah 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 blah. 100 part of the so you're vegan, eh? Vegetables are very proud. I can't hear myself, so it might be a little. Hey, I can hear myself. Okay, we are just gonna go with you're a star. Oh, is I not supposed to say you're a star? Oh, I'm making her pissed off. Oh god, I should read this. But you're awesome. On my X W, I mean piece of three, protect me. Understood. I guarantee you. Forever, we could clear the pig. I guess so. I'll leave you to your meditation. I'm just gonna leave. Okay. 
Okay, those guys are still not dead. Diamond card. Probably for decoration. Great. Molder. Strange plant. So cute. I'm not inappropriate touching any guests. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, mm-hmm. Of course I'm gonna step outside. Nope, I can't step outside. Can I get another drink? I really, really need a drink. I'll have this one. Hey, hey, hey. Way to go. And I'm gonna have this one. Oh, wait. I gotta go back in the kitchen. So where do I put all this product? Meat grinder. Neat. Use item. Uh, can I grind that up? Hey, don't abuse the meat grinder. Okay, well. Uh, use item. Can I even put those in it? Hey, don't abuse. Okay, fine. Fine. I won't. I won't abuse the meat grinder. This bad powder cauldron meat. Cauldron. Don't know how the technology be tied up with the times. Is that going to Use item. Oh, it's still fresh. Into the cauldron with it. All right. Go. Cool. Use item. Bat tears. Soup. Uh, beats me. I know about the noodles. Are you gonna get breads? Uh, why can't I get in here? Come back again later. Uh, Is that it? Ah, oh, that's it, isn't it? I can't go on. I can't go on. Because there's no more doors down here. Oh, I think that's it. Um, that was a weird game. Alright. Mute. Okay, so the next one is Future is Loading. I have no idea what this is about. Apparently they're graduates of some kind of either college or high school or... Maybe they're graduating life. I don't know. Let's see what it's about. It was like any other ordinary day, except on the day that I had absolutely no idea what I wanted to do with my life. Same here, buddy. Whoever I'm talking to. You there. Which, yeah, I guess it was just another ordinary day for me. I definitely applied for a lot of jobs before my graduation. I was confident that I would find a job that was pretty perf perfectly suited for me. However, the growing number of rejection emails in the inbox made me begin to think otherwise. To be honest, I wasn't sure if I was ready to handle the real world yet. In fact, the only thing I really wanted to do was to run away. Me and you both. Me and you both. Not really from anyone or anything in particular. I just had the idea of returning back home with nothing. That sounds like the American dream to me. Speaker, thank you all for coming and supporting our new graduates. Now please give it up for those uh, first keynote speaker. Thank you, thank you. You're all too kind. Success comes in all different forms. And this is exactly the part where I tune out. Psst. Hey, Alice, are you okay? You seem a bit out of it. Huh? Oh yeah, I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Don't lie to me. Just from looking at your face, I can tell that you don't get any sleep last night. Wow. 
who, who would get, who would have guessed that sleep deprivation would do wonders for your face? Yeah, your red eyes really complement your rosy cheeks. Look, I just really stressed out right now. I have no sense of direction. There are no future plans over after this. Right now, I just really want to know that I am supposed to do with my life. Hey, look, I think I have just the thing here for you. Is it weed? It's going to be the solution of all your problems. It's definitely weed. And that would be, it's an app. Look, you can just seriously expect me to, hey, just hear me out first. Don't knock it before you try it. It's an app that uses complex algorithms to predict whether you'll, where you will be in the future. It's even trending online as because everyone has been using it so much lately. Can algorithms really do that? You should be surprised with what technology can do these days. Here, why don't you try it out for yourself? I already filled. <laughs> I already filled out some general information about you, little things like your age and major. Now you just need to answer some personality questions. Uh, I guess it's worth a shot. Fox Fortunes, let's begin. Welcome back to Fox Fortunes, the app that can predict where you will be down the line. I'm sure that you're eager to know your future. Before I tell you, I need to ask you a few more questions. Answer honestly to receive your most accurate pre prediction. Here's your first question. Do you prefer to work on a team or on your own? Well, let's see. I, I since I'm so depressed, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, do a solo worker. Ah, you're more likely to do you best in your own work. That takes a lot of self-discipline, which can be applied to most anything. Next question: Are you more extroverted or inverted? Introverted. Yeah, I'm more introverted. I'm more introverted. Okay. So it's good to know that you take time to recharge. <laughs> Dang right, I sleep in half the day and do absolutely nothing. Uh, Self-reflection is a great quality to have. Now on to the next question. Would you consider yourself creative or more analytical? Uh, I, li I like to be creative sometimes. I like to be creative sometimes. A creative spirit. With so many new problems, it would be great to see you think outside the box. All right, next question. Would you prefer to have a well-organized plan or do you prefer to being flexible? Oh, you know flexible. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, so you're willing to be flexible. That is a great quality to have when you're faced with new challenges. Here are my last, my, my last question. Do you generally like to focus on the bigger picture? Or do you prefer to focus on small details? Take time to make the quality and make it its best. So details it is. All right. So you prefer to look into small details first. I believe I have enough data to begin. Whoops, sorry. Begin some calculations. Please wait a while while I determine your future. Do I have enough time to take a nap? Yep, yeah, it's morning already. How are you feeling? Are you about to find out what sin science has to say about your future? I think I'm actually even more nervous than before. Alice? You know, on second thought, I'm not sure if I want to know how it all ends. What? But the answers are literally... It's like reading the last page of the book. What's the fun in knowing it all, or anyways? So you really don't want to know? Nope, I think I just keep it a uh, surprise. Here, you can get rid of this app for me. Well then. 
Phew, that was a relief. I didn't program anything after that. Huh? What are you saying? I programmed this fake app to tell you about your future. I figured you'd learn that you didn't need all the answers now, which is why you shouldn't put so much pressure on yourself. Wow, I can't believe you did all of this. Look, I'd do anything to get you to stop stressing so much. As I was getting stressed out, just looking at you. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, I gotcha. Thanks London, I really needed this. I'm so glad we got to meet each other in college. Oh, I'm in college, okay. Now it's time to begin handing out the diplomas. That was a different voice. Who was that? All right, finally. No. All right, finally. I was so bored while listening to these speeches. What do you think? Are you ready now, Alice? I am as ready as I'll ever be. Let's see what the future holds for us. I just realized they were holding phones. <laughs> and she has glasses and none of these guys have eyes, mouths, or noses. That's creepy. After graduation, London and I still stayed in contact with each other. I made a lot of new friends going along the way too. It turns out all my worrying was for nothing since I was able to find a decent job after graduation. Don't get me wrong, there were a few bumps in the road, but I finally found a job where I get to work on my own creative projects. After all, the job itself is pretty flexible. I get to choose you. Whoa, these are all the answers I took. And when the work is over, I've got a lot of downtime for myself. Looking back now, I am glad I choose not to know the future, even if it was possible to know my own future. I would have been so caught up in making a detailed plan that I would have lost sight of the big picture. Which is just enjoying what I have in the moment. Thank you for playing. I wish you the best luck in your future. Well, that was Futures Loading. That was not what I was expecting at all. And at the very end, those were all the answers I picked, so I'm sure if I would have picked the opposite, all of those would have just been at the end as well. So, that is Futures Loading. Let's move on to our last one. Unity Phoenix Games. Okay, last one we are doing is Don't Give Up. Click anywhere to start. Click. Use A and D to move. And I, oh, whoa, whoa. I just, I'm a super jumper. Why do I have a, <laughs> press the space bar to jump. Hit. Uh, oh, what is it? Oops, slide. Oh, oops. I thought it was a slide. Retry. Those aren't slides. Homework burned. Oh. Hero. I'm a student with a square head. Am I gonna think outside the box? Um, wait, what? Burn the books, turn points. Sclunch. Oh, that was a portal. And the space key jump four times. Spam the space. Oh. Ho ho ho. Ho 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 ho! That was a little loud. Homework burn zero. So what is this? What what's what am I doing? What is the objective here? Float with my big head? Oh no! And it's all the way down here. Nothing. All right. Let's get that out of the way. I'm flying. Buck. Oh. 
Oh, I'm not gonna make it. Oh, I made it. Oh, I made it. I made it. I made it. Door. This is weird. This is a weird game. I'm flying. Do I just like pump helium into my head so I could just, you know, fly fast, uh, higher? Oh, uh -huh. can I fall on my face? Can I catch an edge with my head? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> oh, ah, I did it. to see oh oh whoa well no <laughs> I just about died I'm just gonna skip that one and skip that one whoa where to go One more time. Do that right over there. No, 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 no. Oh, thank you, fat head. Thank you. It's a George Lopez head. And if you guys don't know who George Lopez is, Lo Lopez, Lopez. If you guys don't know who George Lopez is. He's a uh, ex communion with a very large head. Jira, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know if I want to follow you, Arrow. I don't know if I want to follow you. Oh. I just want to know why it's getting long. Why the back screen is getting very, very bright. bad. Those are bad rulers. No! Wow. Hablushki! Oh, no! Ah, uh, I'm not gonna give up that easily. I will not do my homework. Miles here in just a minute. Damn. Okay. Get, get. Thank you. Ah. That was completely your fault. <laughs> ah. ah. Okay. Oh, don't you dare. Go. And squishies. Excuse me. Okay, fine. Uh, 
Okay. And we are gonna beat it. We are going to beat it. We are going to beat it. Yeah, we're not gonna beat it. Oh, this is pretty tough. This is pretty tough. Strange and tough at the same time. Whew. Yep. Oh, thank you, George Lopez Head. No! All right. Okay. Give up. We're giving up. Okay, that is all the time I got for this episode. Thank you for joining me with these three weird games. If you want to try them yourself, I will put them down in the description below so you guys could play them. They are, they're not bad. They're not bad. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye. Like and subscribe and tell your friends and tell your family, tell your neighbors, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.